This is Sukhoi Su-35S. It is the most powerful fighter currently in operation with the Russian Air Force. The Su-35S, NATO reporting name Flanker E, is the single-seat, twin-engine supermaneuverable aircraft, and is an advanced improved derivative of the Su-27 Flanker, which itself was a multi-role fighter with excellent speed, weaponry and dogfighting agility. The Su-35 multi-role supermaneuverable fighter is designed to gain air superiority and destroy air ground and surface targets at considerable distances from home bases in an intense enemy ECM and counter-fire environment in any weather, day or night. It is undoubtedly the current top Russian air superiority fighter in service today and represents the pinnacle of fourth generation jet fighter design. The Su-35S is the most potent flanker derivative, and has a much improved version with vastly improved avionics, engines and airframe. It was designed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau and developed by Komsomolsk on Amma aircraft plant. The first prototypes rolled out in 2007 and production began in 2009. The Su-35 combines both characteristics necessary for a modern fighter, such as super maneuverability, sophisticated active and passive sensor systems, high supersonic flight speed, high flight range, possibility to arrange aircraft interaction, and characteristics of a good combat aircraft, namely high combat load, wide range of the air-to-surface missiles, sophisticated multi-channel electronic warfare system, reduced radar observability, air defense brake capability at a low-level flight. All right, let's talk about the airframes and engines. The Su-35 is powered by a pair of Saturn AL-41 F1S engine, which is capable of producing a thrust of 172.6 kN without afterburner. With afterburner on, it can produce a staggering thrust of 284 kN. The flanker E can achieve a maximum speed of Mach 2.25 at high altitude, which is equal to the F-22 and faster than the F-35 or F-16, and has excellent acceleration. However, contrary to initial reports, the Su-35 is able to supercruise at just Mach 1.1+, plus, while it is loaded with its armaments for combat. If you are wondering what supercruise is, then it is an aircraft's ability to perform sustained supersonic flight without using afterburners. The Su-35 has expanded fuel capacity, giving it a range of 2,200 miles on internal fuel or 2,800 miles with two external fuel tanks which is far way better than those of Western counterparts like F-22. The aircraft is equipped with thrust vectoring nozzles, which has their rotational axes cantered at an angle, similar to the configuration on the Su-30 MKI and Su-57. The nozzles operate in one plane for pitch, but the canting allows the aircraft to produce both roll and yaw by vectoring each engine nozzle differently. The Su-35's thrust vectoring system and integrated flight and propulsion control systems allow the aircraft to attain supermaneuverability, enabling it to perform post-storm maneuvers at low speeds. This differs from Western Air Combat Doctrine, which emphasizes the maintenance of a fighter aircraft's kinetic energy. However in terms of stealth the flanker family is not up to par. Even though the adjustments to the engine inlets and front canopy has been made and the radar absorbent materials have been used, and this may have significantly reduced the radar cross-sections and the delectability range, but the Su-35 is not still not considered a stealth fighter. In terms of weaponry, the Su-35 has 12 to 14 hardpoints with an amazing capacity of 8,000 kilograms, which gives the aircraft excellent loadout compared to those of Western counterparts. The armament system includes air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, CAB-1500 Kronos type guided bombs, aviation bombs, caliber 100, 250, 500 kilograms, and unguided rockets, S-8, S-13. Moreover, the Su-35 is also armed with a 30mm cannon with 150 rounds for strafing or dogfighting. The Su-35's most critical improvements over its predecessors is maybe in hardware. It is equipped with a powerful L-175M Kidini electronic countermeasure system intended to distort radar waves and misdirect hostile missiles. It is also equipped with a NALR-94 radar warning receiver which has 460 km or more detection range. The Su-35's avionics suite is based on open architecture using multiplex data exchange links and includes an information management system, sighting navigation control radar system, an optical locating station, as well as communications, monitoring, recording and EW equipment. 
the aircraft's radar can detect air targets with RCS equals 3 square meters at a distance of 350 km. The Sukhoi Su-35S is currently in operation in China, Indonesia, and Russia. Other potential operators of this beast can be UAE, India, Egypt, and Turkey. There are various other countries who have also expressed an interest in Su-35 including Algeria and Vietnam. Alright guys that's all for today. Hope to see you in our next episode of Know About Planes. In the meantime comment your thoughts on what do you think about the Sukhoi Su-35S? Is it the best fighter of Russia?